Cascade Mountains are, there was a big lake behind the river. Coyote made a stick and dug on top, sang a song, and the river broke through. Indian people moved down to the river. Coyote went up the river, saw that they didn't have much to eat. He went down to the ocean, saw salmon swimming in the ocean, used his power, told the salmon to swim upstream. That's how the Columbia River was made, and that's why the salmon swim upstream. Today, cities like Portland, Oregon, are bustling urban landscapes. But for centuries before the Pacific Northwest was settled by immigrants of European stock, it was inhabited by Native Americans. Tribes such as the Chinook, Tillamook, Cayuse, and Walla Walla lived in what are today the states of Washington and Oregon. The Northwest part of North America supported an extraordinary diversity of both coastal and inland cultures before European contact. The densest populations were at the coast and inland by the sides of lakes or on riverbanks like that of the Columbia where there were seasonal salmon runs. There was this stereotype of North American Indians up in the Northwest being salmon fishermen. They were actually a great deal more than that, but there was no question that the seasons of fish, like salmon, or smaller animals, played a vital role in their economies. Indian peoples of the Northwest developed distinctive artistic and social customs. The art itself is never just art for the art's sake. It always has a profound meaning. If you look, for example, at the totem poles, all of them have intense symbolic meaning as genealogies, as commemorations of clans, and so on. We are talking about societies where kin groups were of enormous importance, and the leaders of kin groups were very important ritual and political and trade leaders, and these people claimed ancestry from divine ancestors. This gave them their authority, and these clan affiliations were of enormous importance in determining status and so on. Today, many Native American tribes still live in the Pacific Northwest, and for some, salmon fishing is still their livelihood. But they are only a fraction of the number estimated to have lived there before Europeans came. <laughs> 